Okay, babe, please. This is one person show. Booty cheeks out. So, is that a man? It is a man. Who's this man? <laughs> Welcome back or welcome. I'm Brittany and this is the Brittany Inc. channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm running late. Like I should be walking out of the house right now. I should have walked out like 87 seconds ago, but I wanted to do an intro while I'm looking like something. Yeah, I'm on my way to dinner i'm going to get some senegalese food baby i'm very happy and then later on i may get some jamaican food and that's gonna make me even happier i did go in the beginning you saw the little opening i went to molly's cupcakes and just very quickly just very quickly i got some oh shit i got a creme brulee cupcake two peach cobbler cupcakes baby the peach cobbler cupcakes and then i got a blueberry cheesecake cupcake so i'm about to i need to hurry up and dress one of these and put a candy in it babe because it's for somebody's birthday <sighs> girls let's finish this up another time because i'm really supposed to be like downstairs right now singing somebody happy birthday and I'm sitting here trying to be cute on camera. I don't even have my shoes on. I haven't put my jacket on. I haven't combed my curls out. Like, but we're here. Welcome. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I'm headed out. I'm going to an art exhibit opening at a gallery in Bronzeville and I thought I would turn on the camera and, you know, ease into that instead of me just starting there because it may be loud, et cetera, et cetera. I'm running late. I don't have to be there at a certain time, but it started at six and I wanted to leave at six and it is now 6.45. So, I'm about to leave out. It won't take me long to get there. I'm wearing, you can't even see. You can't even see. I'm wearing this satin top from Old Navy, surprisingly. They still have it out, link it. I know I spoke about it in a previous vlog. Um, I'm wearing, uh, I have it like a, a half tuck, and then I'm wearing this mixed metal, it's like gold and silver belt. <sighs> that I don't, I think I got it from Ashley Stewart some years ago, I don't know. And then my split leg Eloqui leggings. I'm also going to wear these brunch boots from Eloqui that I forgot that I had. I haven't worn these in at least, like pre-pandemic y'all. I haven't worn them probably since 2018. So let's get to wearing our things i'm going to wear these and i think they'll look nice with the split legs i'll show y'all and i'm going to put on my little vintage bag that my nana gave me and i'll show y'all my coat in a minute okay babe please this is one person show tay noir These earrings are from Zara. Child, they are so hard to put on. This should have been an earring that had like um, the type of back, not the um, not a clip on, but you know where there's the little stick, the pokey part that goes through the piercing, and then you flip up the latch in the back to lock it in. That's what they should have been. Instead, they're just the pokey part with a separate back and babe. It could be my nails, but I'm pretty sure they're hard to get on even without nails just because they're they're heavy. And trying to... <sighs> okay, this is my coat. It's too big, so I don't wear it a lot. This is from Pretty Little Things. I think they still have it, so I'll link it because I love it. It's great quality for what it is. Like the faux fur, 
very soft. It's not giving bath mat. It's a pretty warm coat. It's 23 degrees right now, babe. Like, shouldn't even be outside, but it's too big. Um, well, I guess it depends because I can easily belt this. I can belt this. Yeah, let me shut up. But this is a size 24. So if you want more of a just snap clothes fit, it does have like a, a hook eye closure, then I recommend sizing down. But if you're oversized girly, then get your size. I got a 24 because I thought I was accommodating my hips, but it more than accommodates my hips. And I'm 5'9", and it comes just above my ankle. So if you're a shorter girly, it may sweep the floor, which could be a very good thing in my opinion. But I'm ready now. I'm going to head out. Let's see what we can discover together tonight with some art by beautiful black women, one of which being my friend. Let's go, babies. Chest so red, and my shoes look like a fashionable Italian man. Why is my face so red? Is that light? Okay, let me go out of here. Think to it, Vogue. Like that girlies I am home I don't know what that snow was about like it's enough have we not suffered enough given you know we haven't had too much snow nothing over a couple inches but still baby where's the groundhog Peace. anyway the event was beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous work, all by black women in films, which you saw. It was a bit too, it was a bit crowded in a small space, so I didn't get all the footage that I wanted to get without, you know, making anyone too comfortable. But I did, I went alone because, like I said, one of my friends was featured her work was shown she wasn't there I did however run into my longest longest friend um the guy you saw me with we've known each other since we were 15 so more than half our lives I was happy to see him I didn't know he was going to be there either but it was it was very nice and the girls were preparing to hit another spot <laughs> And I, I said, babe, it's nine o'clock. My bed, it needs me. I'm just, and it's not like these people are significantly younger than me, like they're my age or older. I'm just not that. And the, one of my girlies was like, girl, you're such a tourist. And I said, yes, yes I am. I wanna go home and be in my bed. I wanna go home, I wanna take a shower. And I wanna talk to a boy on the phone. Anywho, as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff behind me. <sighs> my room is a mess. My space is a mess. I am going to go through some clothes. I've already started. So I will put that footage in somewhere. But I'm going to go through some clothes because I need to get rid of some stuff. I'm overwhelmed by how many things I have, not just clothing items, but just things. Like, as you can see, I'm a collector of things. And this is just my bedroom. There is another bookcase like this in my living room that's full of things, just things. I love stuff. And I'm such a sentimental girl that like, I'll hold on to stuff based on 
how happy I was the last time I wore it. Not based on the evolution of my style and what my current theme is and how I want to express myself fashionably in the future. I just hang on to stuff and I need to stop. Like, oh, it's too far for me to reach it. But I, I used to work for the skincare company and I just got bags and bags of devices. The, it was like a beauty tech company. Why do I still have this stuff? I don't use it. I don't have people to give it away to. What am I, like, why? And I feel guilty, like, throwing my stuff away. But ain't that how hoarding starts, babe? I gotta. So, I may not go through this stuff tonight. Like, you can see there's, like, two checkered Forever 21 sets back there from when I worked with them a few months ago. And I haven't worn either outside, mainly because the skirts are so short that if I take two steps, my ass is gonna fall out. So I may, like the tags are still on them. I may sell them, but I think I've spoken about before how like selling stuff is a hassle. Anyway, I guess we can talk about that. Maybe, you know, I'm going outside tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna put, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna put those sweaters out of my space so I can sleep comfortably tonight and I'll deal with them maybe tomorrow night or Sunday night. Today is Friday, by the way. Anywho, I'm rambling. I wanted to show y'all this candle system I was sent by this brand called Note. And it says the new way to candle, baby. And what does it that say? Hey, candle lover, it's time we all candle responsibly. Oh, it smells good. And I think I've recorded some B-roll of this, but I wanted to show y'all and talk about it a little bit before I took it out of the box. Cause this box has been sitting here for a while. It's kind of getting on my nerves. I believe they gave me a link with the discount code. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna link it below after I discover, after we discover together how it works. They send you an empty votive, is that what you call these? An empty vessel. And they send you the, a re, um, I could not click. They send you a refill kit, which smells delightful. So I chose two scents. I chose Santal and Atlas Cedar. I'm a, I'm a Santal girl. Give me all the sandalwood. And then Plumeria and Pink Current. The Plumeria, I'm not much of a floral fan, but I do love a little bit of Pink Current, Red Current, all the currants. And they smell delightful. This one actually was the first thing that I smelled upon opening the box, and I don't mind it at all. So there's directions um, here on how to do it, and it, this kit has like a wick and the wax beads, and then there's the candle glass, and you, you know, set it up. Uh, uh, uh. So we're gonna set one up tomorrow. Probably this one, because this smells like Santal 33 to me. And that's one of my scents. So we're gonna set this up tomorrow and we're gonna burn it and we're gonna see how she does. And I'm extremely excited to see what these give. And I'm very grateful to Notes for sending this over to me to try. I can't wait to let y'all know. They have other scents, of course, but these are the two. That I chose and yeah guys I had a good night I need to do this more often just go and the few people that I saw that knew me at the event were so shocked that I was there because I'm literally a recluse and y'all was like I have all these clothes why am I not wearing them why am I not going out so that I can wear them they have to make it outside of my bedroom the only time I get dressed up is if I go on a date. Which is often, but my clothes deserve to be seen by more than just a man. Yeah. I'm overwhelmed. 
my space is a mess it's very much giving everything everywhere all at once and i don't like that so so i just figured i'll turn the camera on while i get my life together a little bit chit chat etc probably one of the least shocking things that i can say to y'all right now is that i lack structure it's it's not surprising, baby. It's no shock to anyone. But I lack structure, and that's really eating me up right now. Like, I know exactly what I want. And I mostly know, you know, how to attain it. Like, what I need to be doing to get to where I want, to get what I want. But I don't be doing it, child. And if I do it, I do it in the most chaotic way possible. And somewhere in my like formative teenage years, I decided that I worked best within chaos. If I had a paper due, I would start it the day before it's due. If I had to be somewhere at a certain time, I would leave with enough time for only a perfect commute. Not any traffic, not a train being late, not me walking slow, not anything. Just the perfect time from point A to point B. And it's just not working for me anymore because I have lofty goals and I feel like I need to be more aggressive as it pertains to achieving them. And I don't know, lately I've just been all over the place. And I'm exhausted. So, starting tomorrow, which is a Monday, I'm going to do what I've been saying that I'm gonna do, which is wake up early, set up specific days for specific stuff, like actually do the work that I'm doing within a regular work schedule because what I'm doing right now at this moment is just not working. And I gotta know when to say when. I have so many clothes to go through because I wanna get rid of stuff, but I don't know what I want to sell or donate, what I want to sell, what I want to donate, how, where I will sell it, child. Like Instagram stories. I don't like, what's that? Not Depop, what's the other one? Poshmark. Ooh. Okay, this is what I was talking about. Here we have an Ikea bag full of things that needs to either go to the cleaners or needs to be tailored, repaired, etc. And some of this shit I ain't seen since I got it. These are some disco-esque leggings that I got from the Garner Style Fashion to Figure collaboration and the zipper broke as I was doing the try on never got them fixed love these though forgot i had them and i just came across the peachy pear tag still on and i was going to style that this week with where is it? this turtleneck which is you know a little peach monochromatic moment because i was feeling very much inspired by Prada Fall Winter 23. They did a lot of grays, a lot of muted tones, but they did some really pretty pastels and color blocking. So I was gonna do that. However, that doesn't negate the fact that I really don't want these pants. I don't know, I don't know. Then I just mentioned that tiger print sweater that I photographed today. These are the pants to go with it. They, they busted. I think I wore these one time and booty cheeks out. So I've been having these in the bag to get them fixed. And I know that they they came apart in 2020 because that was the last time that I wore them. Three years. These shorts. Love these shorts. They also, the zipper broke while I was doing the trial. 
I have never had the honor of wearing these beautiful hot pink coochie cutters outside. So I do want these, I do need to get them fixed. This is one of my favorite dresses from the Kenzo H&M collaboration. It needs to go to the cleaners. This McQueen scarf that has seen better days needs to go to the cleaners. Like it's just stuff. These pants, I need to get them taken in. They were too big from the moment that I got them. And I realized I don't really want to part ways with them. Now my tailor, Ramon, he gets annoyed with me when I bring in two big pants because it kind of turns into a reconstruction. So one thing that I know for sure is that the concept of me ordering a size 28 in Eloquy is no more. I've always been a solid 26 and with Eloquy I've always just ordered a 28. They've always been kind of big in the waist. Now I'm like on my way to a 24. So the 28s really don't work. I don't know why these Kalana Barfield Target dresses are in here, but they don't need any tailoring or anything. And then this is an Ivy Park dress from the second launch. This was the first thing that I bought from it, and it was before I understood the sizing. I was a dump it on. I ordered this in a size 4X when I really needed a 2X, and I tried to return it to Adidas, but they had a, a very specific return policy as it pertains to Ivy Park. So I've been sitting on this since like October of 2020 and maybe I'll get it tailored in time for summer because I do like this dress. It's just very, very big. What's this? Eloquy pants that the seam busted. This is a slip dress I got from Red Dolls. I did get this tailored. However, I was clubbing in Miami and the strap broke. I wore this to Miami December 2019. It was the Basel before the pandemic, baby. And I and then this is a, another leather piece where the seam busted. And this stuff has just been sitting here. I could have been wearing this. Now, if I get this fixed, I'm definitely getting it shortened. Actually, yeah, let me let me expedite this piece. I'm gonna take this to the tailor like this week, get this seam fixed, and I'm gonna get this babe shorter because a short leather t-shirt dress, yeah, with some thigh-high boots, it's very much giving Rihanna 2013, and I like that. Hello, hello. I'm on my way out. It's pretty nice today. It's 55 degrees. It's a Wednesday. And I'm going to go out, do a little bit of shopping, exploring. Maybe I'll snap some photos. I've really been getting back into my photo bag because that's really something that I love. And I don't capture it here because it's child getting to the photos is hard enough. I'm trying to beat the light and like being within winter. Anywho, I'm heading out. I'm wearing something very simple today. This um, soft poplin top or relaxed poplin top is from Eloquy. It's what it was once upon a time one of my favorites. And then it started to get dingy, so I kind of dumped it and I've been buying like poplins from H&M and then I got them off the Target. Anywho, I brought her back out for today. Is this happening? Oh. The belt is from Anthropology, and then I have on a dark wash denim from Madewell. I will try to insert a picture of like the full body look. I'm wearing my Chanel dupe mules. These are from Amazon. They were a part of somebody's the drop collection. I will see if they're available for link. And then I just sprayed on Vani by um, 
Eau Claire Mer, and I'm also going to layer Tom Ford Tobacco Vanity. Like I'm feeling very much vanilla-y. And I'm wearing my, oh girl, it's a little ragged it. But my favorite coat, jacket, coat from Eloquii. I think it's sold out, so I can't make it, which kind of sucks. But this like faux Sherpa, faux leather thing. And then for glasses, I'll probably, yeah. It's a toss up between these Fendi glasses. Okay, that was raggy. And then my trusted, dusted Gucci glasses. And I think I wanna wear the Gucci glasses because I want something a little light. And then I like these because they're dirty. I like these because I can wear them indoors without feeling silly. So we're gonna do that. I wanna go to the Madewell store. I think I've been saying that for like the past couple chit chats here. I'm very bored with the state of retailers right now. I mentioned that when I was rambling last time I turned on the camera. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to edit that into something. So we'll see. So either I mentioned it then or I'm mentioning it now for the first time, depending on how bad I was rambling. But I'm a bit bored with what retailers have been creating lately. So that leads me towards shopping my closet and also elevating my basics. And denim is the basic of basics. So my outfit today is basic and I'm potentially shopping for some basics. And girl, you need to leave. Because Valentine's Day was a month ago. Like, it's enough. slapped my wig on my head like T.I.'s fitted cap so I can come here and chit chat with y'all and open some packages that I received today. So first things first, I went out the other day, actually the day before yesterday, and I went into Madewell. I was extremely disappointed because out of all that denim y'all saw, they had, I believe, two or three cuts that extended up to plus maybe four maybe five but it was a bunch of different cuts of denim a bunch of different washes of denim and yet there were only in that entire store two pairs of jeans in my size and not many in a size below me and it's just it's the same thing it's not enough to carry the sizes if you don't advertise that you carry the sizes and or use someone to properly represent the bigger sized range. Like their Instagram, I wouldn't know from looking at their Instagram that they carried up to like a size, I think 28 or 30. I know I saw a 28 in store yesterday, but they may go up to like a 30. I'm not sure though. Anyway, I did get some denim. I have been, I told y'all I was bored with the state of fashion retailers 
at the moment and I wanted to elevate some basics. Also, a lot of my denim I've been getting rid of because it's just not of quality. Like the inner thigh starts to look like I got into a fight with a possum and it's just not the best look. So I got some denim. I fully did not expect to leave with this wash. This is the Curvy Perfect Vintage Straight Jean in a size 26. These are not cut as beautifully as the ones that I tried on at Nordstrom that time. I'll insert like a, a real TikTok that I did because those fit perfectly. But those were like a flare and I didn't love that. But I was talking to the girly at the store who just so happened to be plus size and I just felt nothing but disappointment. Anyway, you guys saw me try these on. I will link them below. I do really like them. They, it's a nice heavier denim with a little bit of stretch. I like the raw hem. I like that they're straight, whatever. I am still in the market for some straight leg jeans that will replace the Eloquy jeans that I used to wear, like the kind of oversized ones. I think I'm gonna try to DIY something with those jeans. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I don't know if I'm quite ready to get rid of them. But when I put them on nowadays, I look like Notorious B.I.G. I've said that a million times before. I should have grabbed my scissors so I could open these packages. We got some PR and I am very excited. The first thing we're going to open is this package from Honey Love. Now, I wasn't familiar with Honey Love, but they are primarily a shapewear undergarment brand. And girl, have I not been on the hunt for shapewear? Yeah, the universe is listening. Anywho, they sent me their superpower short in black and a size 3X. And I really hope that they don't play the same ghetto games as Skims, where with Skims, I couldn't even fit the 5X. So they're packaged beautifully. Wait. Oh, do these have some bone in you? Oh, this, this is shapewear, shapewear. Oh, okay. This is nice. It feels sturdy. Like I'm used to like a rinky dinky biker short. I told y'all I used to wear the Spanx biker shorts. I would wear those in a 2X or a 3X, whichever one they had available, but I prefer the 2X. But literally every time I wore those and I went through several pair, at least seven to 10 pair. And they would always split right in the crotch after about the second or third wear. Like, I don't know what kind of quality issue it was. And it happened with both the 2X and the 3X. So it wasn't like I was pushing it to the limit with the 2X, even with the 3X. So I don't know what that was about. Anyway, this is nice. They sent over a little garment bag, which is lovely. It has the Honey Love um, logo here. And there's also a little catalog care booklet, which is really beautiful. Love that from Miss Girl. Next, I know what this is, I think. Yes, yes, yes. This is an old favorite from Glam Glow. This is the Super Mud, and I love this product very much. It's like um, an enzymatic mud mask. And I would always treat specific areas with this. Like if I'm having a little additional texture on my chin, splat on there for 20 minutes. If I'm having um, an issue with whiteheads or milio on my forehead, splat right there for 20 minutes. And then 
it's pretty quickly effective. So I will link this below. I will link everything that I'm opening below, especially, especially if I like it when I come back with my verbal review. But this I've already tried. I've been going back to her sporadically for over five years now, and I really enjoy it. Now, this makes me very happy because, don't look at my nail, because either late last year or very early this year, I wrote out a list of brands that I really wanted to work with in some capacity. And one of those brands was Girlfriend Collective. And they reached out to me wanting to send me some things. So I'm feeling very happy and warm about that. Oh, child, I can't keep it cute with this. Let's just take these scissors. Okay, so thanks girlfriend. Beautiful, lovely. We we'll use eco-friendly dyes, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, they use old water bottles and fishing nets, which is intriguing to me. So these are, oh, child, these look small and scared. These are the compressive pocket leggings in the color Midnight. Oh, I can fit these. Hmm. I hope. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so, these, very excited. And then, a... Beautiful, gorgeous sports bra and some matching biker shorts because you know I'm a biker shorts girl. So I got the biker shorts in a size 3X and the sports bra is in a size 2X. The pants are a size 4X. I'll link them, of course. I really hope I love them because y'all know I'm an old navy girl. But yeah, good stretch. I'm excited to see what these look like on. And I did the mix match thing because I like to color block my athleisure. And look at that. That's cute, right? And then if I want to match, boom, boom. So yes, that's my little bit of baby PR. I'm excited every time someone finds me and wants to send me things. It's very um, rewarding. Anywho, I'm about to go eat some fish and some asparagus and I'm going to relax for the rest of the evening. so good y'all like I woke up this morning I was I cleaned up last night because not only is it a new season it is also a new moon so whenever it's a new moon babe my space has to be clear I cleaned up everywhere and I woke up this morning and I just felt really 
fucking fantastic. Y'all, I promise I have more than one sports bra. It's just that every time I turn on the camera and I just so happen to work out, I'm wearing this one. It's a very old one from Torrent. This thing is like five years old, but I do have other sports bras. I turn on the camera to catch up, my girlies, and I wanted to show y'all a few things. I did a little bit of shopping, just very, very simple. Un poquito, very little. Well, should I say muy poquito or très poquito? Anywho, I shopped. You see how I, I'm just like, <gasps> I'm so happy that I'm not making sense. I'm rambling. Oh, so pleasing to me. Anywho, y'all, I went shopping. I stopped into Zara to see what the doll had for me because we're moving into spring. The clothes should be getting stretchier by now. And they are somewhat. So I picked up this little sheer tank top. Love this. Wish I had titties to set up so I can give the girls a nipple moment, but I don't, so I won't. This is a size large. I probably could have done a medium for a more shrunken look, but it's very, very stretchy as you can see. It has like four-way stretch. Diagonal both ways, up and down. Great, we love that. I will link everything below. Hopefully they still have this in stock. They also had a gray. I debated on gray. I don't have gray in my wardrobe. So I could have done gray and like color block it with like brown or like gray and green. Perhaps I'll be revisiting them to pick that gray one up because this is nice and I know this is something that I'm going to start layering now and I know I'm going to wear it a lot when it really warms up. I also got this dress. Now y'all, I'm going I'm to keep it a buckaroonie with y'all. I don't know if I can fit this dress. I didn't try this stuff on because I feel like at this point, I'm a Zara professional. This dress is a size large. It is striped and these horizontal stripes really got me because I really used to be a horizontal stripe girl. Now this stretch, it feels kind of snug. Child, I don't know. I got mercy. But I feel I have stuff like this, like that I just did a, 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 a TikTok with a green dress that's very similar in structure to this, again, four-way stretch. And it was a size medium. So we're gonna, we're gonna see with her. But I like it. But I'm seeing this this summer with like heavy gold brass jewelry. Like very much scalp around. Yeah. Speaking of gold. I got this necklace and I'm not a necklace girl. I'm not, but chokers are going to be big this year. And I like this one. It's cute. I like the little coins. It's comfortable. And I think it'll be a great compliment to many outfits. I also got another chain belt well two okay because we know with Zara's chain belts they're not made for me so this one they come in two sizes it's 80 centimeters I believe and 85 centimeters I got 180 and 185 because all they had was all 80s and then 185 so I got the 85 I would have gotten two 85s and I think I'm just gonna rig this whole thing because this is the part that's supposed to be in the middle of the waist. Is that a man? It is a man. Who is this man? Who is this young man? It's a man. Um, what was I saying? Oh, this feels very small. This feels very small for my waist. So, I was going to like rig them together in some way. I don't know. You're done. You're loud. And then lastly, and what I'm most excited about 
is this dress. It's upside down. This, also a size large. Many would say it's a cover-up because of the holes. But not I. Babe, I'm wearing it everywhere. I'm wearing it to the grocery store. I'm wearing it to bingo. I may wear it to church. I'm wearing it on a date. I may wear it to the beach. I don't know. The holes vary in size. And I just think it's really fabulous. So that's everything that I got from Zara. And then I went over to the girlies at Target. And... You guys know I are, I got these pants. I talked about these pants. So I picked them up. And recently I was shopping for my essentials, my toilet paper, my air freshener, my things. And I saw the top on Clarence. So I got it because it was like half price. And now this is a 3X. I would have much preferred a 2X, but a 3X is actually maybe a little bit more versatile because I could wear it open with the bikini. I, the extra fabric allows me to do my crisscross tuck. I'm very excited. Will I wear these two items together? I don't know. I didn't really intend on it, which is why I only focused on the pants. But when I saw this for half off, I said, oh babe, I need you. But I'm very happy to have these items and I wish it were warm enough to wear right now. Also, I really, really wanted something from the Future Collective with Gabriella Karifa Johnson, my sister for real. And I got this. And if you watch my shorts, then you've already seen me style this like in a color block look. Go watch it if you haven't. I'll link it. I think I can link shorts. It's so much that you can't do with shorts that I don't know what you can do with shorts. But anyway, I got this top. And I love it. You know this is my color. It's plisé. It's super cute. It's super versatile. When I wore it the first time, I styled it with a dress, using the dress as a skirt. But I also got the little mini skirt that goes with it, baby. And when I tell you I'm ready and I cannot wait to wear this, I'm ready and I cannot wait to wear this. So this top, I feel runs a bit large. I got it in a size 1X. Usually for tops, I would take a 2X, but I got this in a 1X. And then I got the skirt in a size 2X. So remember I said this back when I tried out the um, Kalana Barfield Brown Future Collective collaboration, that they're very generous with the sizing when it comes to that brand. And it's true because me in a 2x bottom is interesting. that I shot for this vlog I think I did it like in the mid the end of February it's enough of me so I don't know what this vlog is going to be but I do know that I'm not carrying this vlog into quarter two so I'm stopping it here I don't know if I've done enough I hope it's entertaining I feel like I have a lot of footage but I feel like most of that footage is me yapping which I'm very good with I'm like sweating which is only drawing my hair up more because I'm on my way to get my hair braided. The wig era 
<laughs> it's done. It's done. Y'all are going to probably see more videos with wigs because I'm not sure what the schedule is looking like, but I know I've recorded videos that will be published after I get my braids done. But I, I tried. I I don't, I like wigs. I think I look nice with them. I don't like having to get my hair French braided and dealing with people because those ladies, but they charged me $60 for some wig braids and my stomach ain't set right since. I feel like my hair is just drawing up as I speak. Anyway, I wanted to come and wrap this vlog up, but also show you guys some things that I got from h and I'm pretty sure there's h and clips earlier or they may be the last clip. It depends on how I edit it. But I went into H&M with the intentions of getting some new garments. Girl, I couldn't find anything that I liked. What they have online is vastly different from what they put in the store. I feel like right now in the store, they're very much still in there. This is for the working girl vibe very much office attire it's giving slacks it's giving a blazer it's giving a silk camisole i'm not in that space so but i did go up to decor and of course i got my candlesticks they didn't really have any fun colors i just got black and that's funny because i'm reading a book currently called like black candle women or something like that and then i got this beautiful lumpy vase that reminds me of like the Jonathan at the titty vase so I like that this was $18 and I can't wait to put some florals in here and that's all I got baby because they didn't have much to offer the Dalita also I got this little bag because I've been carrying the same everyday like Marc Jacobs bag I'm too embarrassed to show y'all but if you know you know I've had that bag since 2011. They don't make it anymore. Mine is so raggedy, but it was very hard to replace because that bag fits everything. That can be my overnight bag. That can be my work. Let me put my laptop in that bag. That's my, I'm going to the movie, baby. I need my own snacks bag. The bag, she's carrying me through a lot. And I'm not throwing it away, but I'm tired of looking ragged daggy with that bag because it is raggedy. Anywho, I got this bag from AliExpress and I thought I was getting the bigger one. And I'm pretty sure I read the measurements right and they just played me, but it's fine because I do like this small, like puffer nylon y bag. But and I'm going to order the big one in like the black and white, which is like um a uh, off-white dupe. I'm gonna order that from Amazon because I'm not playing with AliExpress. Anyway, the good news is this bag can fit my laptop, which is fabulous. I'm taking this with me because I need to do some work while I'm getting my hair braided. I need to be somewhat productive. What else? Oh, so this sports bra I'm wearing is the Girlfriend Collective. So that's something else that I mentioned earlier on in the vlog and I did not show y'all. The problem was I ordered the biker shorts in a size 3X. That's my usual size. I, I, I do a 3X bottom and Old Navy. Sometimes I do a 2X, but I do a 3X and Old Navy, Athleta, Fabletics. It's kind of been a universal team for me. The girls at Girlfriend Collective said, oh no, babe, <laughs> you're not a 3X over here. The pants I ordered from them was a 4x because pants shorts they vibe a little different even though with old navy in their pants they're like leggings and you guys have heard me talk about them before i'm sweating where's my ponytail holder okay as i was saying i've spoken about old navy athleisure many times before because it is my favorite and for their pants i also wear a size 3x I don't know if I can show y'all the picture that I took trying to try on the Girlfriend Collective pants because I'm only in my like bra and panties, which isn't a problem because I can blur it out. But also I think my 
bedroom was a mess, then I'm not sure I'll see it. And, and if I can post it or cover up what I need to cover up appropriately, I'll just insert the picture. But it didn't come past my needs. I had to reach out to those girls and they sent me a 6X per their size chart, a size 6X. And, and that, it pissed me off. I'm being very honest. I do, I like the sports bra. The sports bra is a 2X, it feels fantastic, love it. I like the people that I've worked with within the company, the people I've been in communication with, they're fantastic. I'm not too sure I, I'm too fond of the sizing. Now, I initially had these shorts in this moss color, and I had the pants in midnight, which is like a navy blue, as I showed y'all. They were out of the midnight in the 6X, so they sent me the moss in the 6X. These came in the mail maybe yesterday, day before yesterday. I haven't put them on yet. I'm almost afraid to put them on because these still look small. And if I can't fit a 6X, then we have a problem. And and because I was angry about it, it I started drafting out notes for a video on the ins and outs of like inclusivity, plus size as a whole, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Because I've mentioned it before, brands are doing this thing where on paper they have inclusive sizing 4x 5x 6x but when you look at the size chart and i didn't look at the size chart before i placed my first order that was my bad when you look at the size chart the size chart does not reflect inclusivity you're basically saying this is 6x but it's really like a 3x babe so technically we stop at a 3x that's not inclusivity the girls have been doing 3x's i feel like if if someone says that they carry plus size the standard is to stop at 3x you were like ooh, real inclusive if you went up to a 4x which is like a size 26 28 or like 28 30 depending on who you ask because from my research, size charts are a shit show as well and obviously not something that's consistent, which is why I'm a size 24 when it comes to jeans and fashion to figure, but with Eloquy, I have to order a 28. And of course, fits differ because body differs. They cut, like fit models may have a slimmer build, but the funny thing is the original size chart was built around an hourglass figure and that is the complete opposite of what brands are doing now as far as their sizing because with this i think for the 6x the the hip circumference was like something like 61 to 64 inches that's for a 6x my hips last time i checked at the widest point of like my ass projection was like 65 inches. So let's try these on and see. I gotta get out of here because I'm I'm late. But I'm about to try these on and I'm scared, y'all. But let's see, because I just wanna wear something comfortable since I'm about to be sitting for like eight hours getting my hair done. And I love these. These are beautiful. I do notice that the these are made of like recycled plastics uh, a large portion of the makeup is recycled plastics these don't have as much give as like your typical lycra spandex lululemon nike old navy athleisure i noticed that straight away when i first got it i didn't think that would be a problem turned out to be a problem let's try them on they fit because child i was about to say i was about to say but even still I shouldn't wear a 6X. And I'm I don't have a problem with a size number appearing big. I really don't, y'all. Like I, I don't care. Like I have smalls from Zara. That doesn't make me feel good to have a small. I just need sizing to make sense, baby. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.